For more than four decades, a quiet traveler has drifted through the cold emptiness of space, carrying with it the hopes, voices, and memories of Earth. This is Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object from our planet. Even now, nearly 15 billion miles away, it continues to surprise us. Recently, it sent back new data that could reshape our understanding of the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy beyond. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 as part of a daring mission to study the outer planets. Initially, it was expected to operate for just five years, enough time to fly past Jupiter and Saturn and send back valuable information. But together with its twin, Voyager 2, it far exceeded expectations. Using the technology of the 1970s, the Voyagers became time capsules sailing into the unknown, continuing to function over 45 years later. The mission was made possible by a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. This event allowed spacecraft to use each planet's gravity to gain speed, a technique called gravity assist. Voyager 2 launched first in August 1977, followed by Voyager 1 in September. Despite launching later, Voyager 1 took a faster path and quickly overtook its twin. Voyager 1 first visited Jupiter in 1979, capturing stunning images and revealing volcanic activity on its moon Io, the first volcanoes ever observed outside Earth. A year later, it flew past Saturn, showing us detailed views of the planet's rings and discovering new moons. After that, it had no more planets to visit. But instead of stopping, it kept going, toward the edge of the solar system. Today, Voyager 1 travels through a region no spacecraft has reached before, the vast, mysterious space between stars. To understand its current location, we must understand the heliosphere, a huge bubble created by the sun's charged particles and magnetic fields. Everything within this bubble is considered part of our solar system. The edge of this bubble, known as the heliopause, is where the solar wind collides with the interstellar medium, the matter and energy between stars. For years, scientists debated what would happen when a spacecraft crossed into interstellar space. Would there be a sudden shift in radiation? A change in magnetic direction? A spike in temperature? On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 gave us an answer. It recorded a sharp rise in cosmic rays and a jump in plasma density, signs that it had exited the heliosphere and entered interstellar space. Surprisingly, the magnetic field didn't change direction as expected, hinting at a more complex and gradual boundary than once believed. But Voyager 1's story didn't end there. In 2024, it detected something remarkable, continuous low-frequency plasma waves coming from the interstellar medium. These waves suggest that space beyond our solar system isn't silent and empty, but alive with motion, turbulence, and energy. They are likely caused by distant stars and ancient supernovae, proving that the galaxy is a dynamic and active place, even far from stars. This discovery is groundbreaking. It's the first direct evidence of how matter and energy behave in the space between stars, knowledge that could help future missions aimed at deep space exploration. And it's even more impressive that Voyager 1 is still functioning. Powered by a small generator that turns the heat from decaying plutonium into electricity, the spacecraft has lasted far beyond its expected lifespan. Over time, many instruments have been shut down to conserve power. NASA engineers have had to find creative ways to keep the spacecraft alive, including a 2022 software fix that restored communication after a glitch. It takes more than 22 hours for a command from Earth to reach Voyager 1 and another 22 hours for a signal to return. Every exchange is a delicate dance across a vast distance. Yet despite all, onboard Voyager 1 is one of the most profound artifacts ever sent into the cosmos, the golden record. This 12-inch gold-plated copper disc was carefully created to represent the voice, soul, and diversity of life on Earth. It's more than just a message, it's a time capsule, a greeting to the unknown. Engraved with sounds of nature, human laughter, a baby crying, and greetings in 55 different languages, it also contains music from cultures across the world, from Bach to traditional folk songs, as well as images of everyday life, mathematical diagrams, and scientific knowledge. 
These selections were chosen by a team led by Carl Sagan, under the belief that even if the chances of contact were slim, the gesture itself was meaningful. If another intelligent civilization ever encounters Voyager drifting through space, the golden record will serve as our handshake across the stars, our way of saying, we existed. We thought. We dreamed. And we reached outward. Now, Voyager 1 has traveled over 24 billion kilometers from Earth. It's not just a machine, it has become a symbol of the enduring spirit of human exploration. Born in the era of rotary phones and analog technology, this spacecraft, built in the 1970s with less computing power than a basic calculator today, continues to operate in the harshest and most remote environment imaginable. While modern satellites near Earth go silent within a decade or less, Voyager 1 pushes on through the vacuum of interstellar space, where temperatures hover near absolute zero and the sun is merely a distant point of light. Its survival speaks volumes about the engineers and scientists who built it, who designed every circuit and component not just for performance, but for resilience. Voyager 1 is a tribute to human ingenuity, resourcefulness, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a traveler with no destination, but with a purpose far greater than any one mission. Eventually, though, time will catch up. The plutonium power source, slowly decaying, will no longer provide enough energy to run even a single instrument. One by one, its systems will shut down. Its faint signal, now taking over 22 hours to reach us, will go silent. But even after the final transmission fades into the background noise of the universe, Voyager 1 will continue its journey. Unpowered, unsteered, and unseen, it will drift among the stars for millions, even billions of years, untouched by gravity wells or planetary poles. Long after our cities have crumbled, our monuments turned to dust, and perhaps even our species evolved or vanished, Voyager 1 will still be gliding silently through the galaxy. A quiet, lonely beacon of what we once were. Maybe someday, countless generations from now, it will pass near another star system. Perhaps intelligent beings, biological or machine, will detect it, retrieve it, and wonder about the distant world from which it came. Or maybe it will wander through the void forever, never found, but still carrying Earth's message through the endless dark. Regardless of its ultimate fate, Voyager 1 has already achieved the extraordinary. It has left the protective bubble of our solar system and entered the great cosmic ocean. It is the first emissary of Earth to cross into interstellar space. It has become, in every sense, humanity's ambassador to the stars. This mission teaches us something deeper than science. From a fragile blue dot orbiting an ordinary star, we launched a spacecraft that now journeys through the galaxy. It reminds us that exploration is not only about finding new worlds, it's about expressing the very essence of who we are, curious, creative, 